Many years ago, we started biophysics at Saarland University, and meanwhile, biophysics became a focus area of the physics department, but also of the whole university. And that's why we decided in 2016 to found the Center for Biophysics. The Center for Biophysics consists of people from material science, life science, the university hospital, and this kind of interdisciplinary approach is also characteristic for our research projects. And we also want to train our students in this interdisciplinary way of thinking, and that's why we implemented a bachelor and master program in biophysics. The Collaborative Research Center CRC 1027 is the nucleus of the Center of Biophysics established in 2013 as an interdisciplinary research initiative between biophysics, biology, biomaterials and medicine. Our scientific aim is to reveal and understand physical principles governing the spatio-temporal organization of living active matters into molecules, cells and tissues. An important purpose of a collaborative research center is structural development of the home university, which is in our case the establishment of a new building for the biophysics, which will be finished in 2024. Another very important aspect of a collaborative research center is the support of early career researchers and equal opportunity in research. We are interested in biofilm formation. To study bacterial adhesion, we use modern surface science techniques such as photoelectron spectroscopy, ellipsometry, scanning and transmission electron microscopy or atomic force microscopy. We attach one living bacterial cell to a tiny cantilever and press it onto a surface and measure the force that is needed to detach the cell. The proteins that are part of the bacterial cell surface mediate adhesion, type and density of these proteins determine the adhesive strength of bacteria. We even produce our own samples of test teeth. Our colleagues from the dental clinic test our artificial teeth and compare the results with real teeth as well as the impact of plant extracts or appetites. I'm in the Center of Biological Physics and I'm interested in cooperative effects and we'll be studying our DNA, DNA interactions, symmetry breaking in the embryo, the incorporation of non-canonical amino acids during transcription translation. And I think as physicists and at this interface in the center, we have sort of all colleagues which understand and can help in what we're doing, technically speaking, but also in terms of ideas especially with the new building that we're going to get, I think we can make a very strong team and sort of attack these kinds of subtle problems, which on the long run will be extremely fundamental and important. We are here at a collaborative research hub between Saarland University and the Leibniz Institute for New Materials in order to tackle biophysical questions. We're specifically interested in the cytoskeleton. For example, we look at the actin cortex, trying to understand how the mesh size, which we look at using electron microscopy, alter cellular mechanics. Another example is where we look at how Vimentin influences actin polymerization in stress fibers. And here we really have the good possibility to use interdisciplinarity where we can go really from the far end of biophysical simulations to really look at single molecules up to having real cells from real patients coming from the clinics. And this is an opportunity we are really happy to use. We are also happy that we are able to take these tools which we use to really tackle our scientific questions and bring them directly to the student so that they can have a very early hands-on experience and try these tools. During my bachelor thesis I was already working in a research group here and I feel that especially or even for bachelor students you can really already see what, uh, how the research is conducted here. I think it's really exciting to use very expensive and very new equipment, even for a bachelor student. I have no experience with different types of microscopes and you are able to look into very different research fields. Within the Center of Biophysics, we study how cells sense and control the properties of membranes and how abnormal properties of membranes lead to complex metabolic and neurological diseases. 
We are a group of computational biophysicists and our goal is to combine experimental data with computer simulations. And we do this to help experimentalists to learn as much as possible from the data and on the other hand we aim to make our simulations as realistic as possible. The Center of Biophysics provides a fruitful environment for us because it integrates a range of methods from very theoretical methods over computer simulations to experimental model systems up to studies on the whole cell. And it's this integration of methods that helps us to tackle modern challenges in biophysics. We are in the Center for Integrative Physiology and Molecular Medicine. Our main question is how can the immune killer cells kill the um, tumor cells efficiently? And the second is how is this killing efficiency regulated by external factors? So to address those questions, we need not only the expertise from the immunology, but also it requires the expertise from many different fields like the theoretical physics and also bioinformatics and material science. This interactive and interdisciplinary milieu is actually not easy to find elsewhere to, to have everything packed under one roof. So that makes the Center for Biophysics very unique for us.